This video explains the relationship between pantheism and Jesusism. First, what is pantheism, and what is Jesusism? Pantheism is the belief that the creator of our universe in fact became our universe, ceasing to be a conscious entity, in order to share in the experience of our universe, including intelligent life. Jesusism is one product of life on Earth, a philosophy based on the moral teachings of the first century historical figure, Jesus of Nazareth. Now, you might be saying, well, isn't there already a big old religion like that, called Christianity? Not these days. Christianity is no longer about what Jesus taught, but about worship of Jesus despite whatever Jesus taught. It is not that there are no Christians who observe the teachings of Jesus, but that the focus of Christianity is distracted by ephemera external to those teachings, such as the biography of Jesus, and Bible musings by persons other than Jesus, followers so clearly lacking in the generosity of character, expressed by Jesus himself. Jesusism is itself not a form of Christianity. Most Christian sects believe that to be a Christian at all, you have to believe that the Bible God exists, and that absurd Bible creation myths are true. And that Jesus is the only offspring of God, and also is God. And that the crucifixion happened, because God set things up, so he would have to sacrifice himself, to himself, in order to assume the sins of mankind, in order to give man the chance to get atonement, for the sins with which God created man, by believing the part about Jesus, being the only son of God. Jesusism rejects this central tenet of Christianity. Jesusism believers tell us that it is not necessary to believe anything in particular about Jesus so long as we live right by others, in the manner of which Jesus spoke. Jesusism believers are not atheists or agnostics, for it doesn't even matter whether God exists or not, whether Jesus was truly uniquely holy or not. Instead, his teachings about how we ought to live our lives and treat one another mark a worthwhile path to follow. And, even if the sacrifice of Jesus were true, any God who would make such a sacrifice is good enough to reward people who make an effort to live the kind of life Jesus spoke of, no matter what their religious beliefs. And what kind of life is that? What are the rules of Jesusism? First, love your neighbor. Even love your enemies. Love everyone. Look out for each other before you think of yourself. Take care of each other. Number two. Don't judge. Judging isn't loving, is it? Jesus led by example on this one, when his adversaries brought an adulteress before him, clamoring for her to be stoned. What did Jesus say? Let him who is without sin cast the first stone. Here's the thing, wanting to cast that stone, thinking you have the right to deem someone else worth having the stone cast at them, that is the biggest sin there is. Don't get caught up in material possessions. Render unto Caesar, what did that mean? That money isn't natural human property in the first place. The government makes it, and so it is the government that defines its value, so why obsess over hoarding it away, anyway? Forget wealth for yourself, for true wealth is the love you give. And that, as a top rabbi once said, is the whole of the law. Pandeus might or might not believe that Jesus ever even existed, but the ways Jesus said that we should treat our fellow man, these rules pretty much fall into good harmony with some of the teachings of pandeism. For, what better reason is there, to love everyone and everything, than to realize that all is equally part of our Creator, which has become our universe, 